Hey there guys, Ninja Boy here, and uh, I just want to make a quick video. Everybody on YouTube, like, you know, gamers, they show their, like, you know, my video game collection. Well, I think it's stupid, because they don't have any retro games. So today, I'm going to be showing you my retro games, starting, well, today it's just going to be my Game Boy games, and most of the ones I can find. So, let's get, let's begin. Okay. So, let's first start off with, um... The very one of the very first games I ever got as a kid, Pokemon Gold. Yeah, I, I found it's this isn't the, my original copy, but I picked it up for uh, ten, twenty dollars or so. Yeah, it's awesome. I think it's like one of the best Pokemon games in the whole series. Like you know, screw black and white, and you know, magenta and pitch black. This is this is where it's at. This is gold. It's gold, baby. Okay, next. Pokemon Fire, well, po Pokemon Red, uh, yeah, whoever doesn't know what this is, and, you know, you're dumb. Ah, dang it, uh, the sticker's ripping. Yeah, this is actually my sister's, not mine, but, you know. Next one. Another Fire Red. This one's actually broken, sadly. Shit, okay. Pokemon Yellow, the Pikachu edition. Pikachu! It's Pikachu! It's Pikachu! Okay, I'm done. Yeah, the special limited edition Pikachu Yellow. Anyways, Pikachu Yellow, where your starter Pokemon is Pikachu and it always follows you around. And I think it might be stronger than other Pikachu, I don't know. It's really cool. Okay, next one. The Mega Man 2. Okay, I got this one for $5.00. I wish I didn't buy it for five dollars. It's not a good game. Like you know, I'm not that much. Like when I started playing it, obviously I wasn't good. I tried it. It's very hard. It's really hard. That's all I have to say. It's really hard. But you know, Mega Man Two. It's got the uh, Nintendo official seal, something like that. I don't know what the hell it says. Like collector's edition. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, five dollars flea market. Definitely shop at a flea market, that's for sure. Okay, next one. Donkey Kong. For anyone who doesn't know what Donkey Kong is, well, I'm not going to sit down here and explain. But anyways, um, one of the best Donkey Kong games ever because it's the original Donkey Kong game plus like 70 new levels or so. It's really good. If whoever is a hardcore Donkey Kong fan... Definitely try and find this game. This game is so amazing. And you see Mario in the back. I'm sorry my camera sucks and all I'm filming with my, uh, like my flip cam. Okay. Quest for Camelot. This was a gift. Okay. I, I'd still play it though just to have fun, like, not, like, just to joke around. Okay. Nina, if you're watching this, I, I do still play it though, just in case. Okay. Mega Man 5. Definitely a really good game. Whoever has this game, keep on to it. Because I recently checked, and this is actually supposedly on the top 10 rarest Game Boy games, I think. I don't know. I, I had this game since I was like 10. Since I was 10 or so. I always used to play this game, and I still do play it today. It features um, a really cool... It has like the... The, the, um, the bosses... They're all like, ma namely, mainly, uh, stars and planets, so that's fucking cool. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to lose train of thought. Pocket Bomberman has nothing to do with the original Bomberman game, but it was $8. It was, it's fun though, it's weird, it, it's like a, it's side-scrolling, somewhat. It's really hard to explain, just... Play it though. Buy it. It's really good. Kirby Dreamland 2. Okay, this game is freaking old. This game offered the pets. You see the owl, the fish, the most useless one. That's why he's in the background. And then there's the hamster. The hamster is definitely my favorite. Then the bird. And then I, I actually just ate the, the fish. I, that's what I had last night. I had salmon. So yeah. Good game. Okay. Power Rangers, oh my goodness, I really only bought this game, and I was 13 when I bought this, I only bought this because I love the Power Rangers, 
I wish I knew what I was getting myself into. Not that much of a good game, really. Not at all. Okay, nothing else said. Metroid 2! Return of Samus! This game, once again, was kind of a mistake. It, it, this is what got me into the Metroid series, but at the same time, I did not know what the hell I was doing. If you pick up this game and just randomly start in some person's file, you're not going to get the hang of it at all. Let me tell you that right now. And I was like a kid, so I didn't know what the hell I was doing. There was no instructions at all. So yeah, kind of screwed myself there. Really cheap though. I think it was like $5 or so. Uh, anything on the back? No. Okay. Contra C. Well, Operation C. I only bought this game because it had the C on there, obviously. I didn't know it was... I, Kind of had a feeling it was a Contra game. You see, um, I think his name is Red Falcon, actually. I think you actually play as the main villain he, when he was good, I believe. I can't really remember. Game is really fun, though. Definitely a good handheld op uh, Contra game for the Game Boy. Obviously, there's something better in my pile that's better than this. But it, this is still good for a Game Boy game. Let me tell you that right now. Okay. D Battletoads Double Dragon. My goodness, this was such a good game. The soundtrack, the fighting, everything was good. The bosses were cool. Sadly, the stickers peeling off. I'm not... Supposedly, this game is also rare. Not that rare, but, like, you know, if you find it, it's hard It's hard to find. Luckily, though, I got it for both Game Boy and the Sega. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely holding on to these two. So, yeah. By the way, favorite character to play was uh, Pimple, because he was a fucking badass. Okay. Next, if I could just get it out of the stupid package. Well, actually, I'm going to save the last, th the, the ones I'm planning on doing right now for last. But, yeah, I'm trying to open up my stupid box. But, yeah, these are all the games so far. One, one last game before I get on to the top three. Quartz. That's my sock. Behold the power of the sock, people. Look at its majestic powers as it eats all my games. Okay, this is so stupid. Quartz. The greatest, no, wait up, no. the top 10, no, no, that one, top 15, okay, yeah, games of all time, better than Tetris, I have Tetris, but I'm, I don't want to reach over and get it, Quarth is better, it, it's like reverse Tetris, somewhat, blocks are coming down at you, and you have to shoot them to make a perfect, like, you know, a block. And you get to choose from, like, nine different ships or planes. Obviously, that's the first one. There's really no difference. This game was awesome. I remember this playing... This was my very first game I've ever played. Okay, forget all the other games. This was definitely the first one I've ever played. This game, I spent hours when I was five years old playing this. I love it so much! But... There's still three more games I have to show you, and that will definitely piss off any fans or retro hunters or anything. And the thing that, the, the funny thing is that I found all these in the same place. First one, Castlevania Adventure. Do you see the epicness in here? If you're a Castlevania fan, you will see the epicness in here. Obviously, I can't show you that well because my camera sucks, but I'll point it out right here. You see Christopher Belmont, <laughs> totally not me, fighting his way towards the evil Dracula. This game definitely was a good Castlevania game. Sadly, though, it was uh, voted as... One, a really bad one, but uh, it's a Game Boy game. I mean, like, what are you going to do? Whoever is seeing this, look at look up the gameplay for this one after. You'll see what I mean. It was a bad game, but, you know, come on. It was one of the, it was one of the very first Castlevania. It was, it's the very first handheld Castlevania game, I believe. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, Castlevania 1, you will hold a special meaning in my heart. Next. Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. Okay, now this game, it was it was really cool. I mean, this game was better than Castlevania 1. Sorry, Castlevania 1, but I have to say that. Get, 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 get out of my face. You're, you're making me sick. Castlevania 2 offered the ability of five... Zoom it up. Five 
D damn it. Five different stages. Four you had to choose, and obviously, whoever played Mega Man games, they obviously gave you, like, you know, five, six, eight stages, and then when you beat them all, one last stage appears. This is just like it. So, basically, you go through four different castles. Wind, Earth, Ice, I want to say fire, but I can't remember. I think it's uh, air or something, I don't know. And basically, you have to go kill them all, get to Dracula's castle, save your son, kill him, and unleash the power of the Belmonts on his soul. Christopher Belmont, you will be remembered. But sadly, you are not... Well, you're actually at the top. But there is still one more game that will hold a deep memory. Castlevania Legends. Oh, what can I say about this game? Backstory time. Got Castlevania 2. Search the internet. I find out that there were three handheld Game Boy games. Castlevania 1, 2, and Legends. Legends was probably the rarest game that I heard of because I believe at the time they made that you could only find certain ones in Japan. Luckily, I have the English Legends title. There are so many things so cool about this game. The fact how, unlike these other two games, you get to crouch and walk at the same time, which I think was like a really ingenious idea. I don't know why they haven't done it. This game definitely was amazing. Sadly, though, it wasn't the greatest. I still think Belmont's Revenge was still best. But still, though, this game features a lot of cool stuff. A backstory between Alucard and Sophia Belmont, where they apparently have a love story, and her child ends up being Gabriel. Wait, no, that's not right. Trevor Belmont. Trevor's father is Alucard. My goodness, I never knew that. This game definitely is also on the top 10 list, along with, where is it, I think I just, oh my goodness, I threw it away, oh no, Mega Man 5, yeah, this game will definitely be special, and the fact I have all three of them makes it even better, so any guy, so anybody who is a Castlevania fan, eat your heart out, because I have them all, so that is it for today. All of my Game Boy games for right now. Obviously, I had a lot more as a kid, but sadly, during a move, I lost most of them. But still, all my games. Pokemon Heart Gold, Battletoads, Double Dragon, Quarth, sticks out amongst them all. So there you go, guys. I will be doing a Game Boy Advance one, maybe an Xbox one. I don't know. I mean, it's not that special. No, I won't be doing... I have Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and Super Nintendo games, but just because I don't have that many, I won't be doing them. But still, though, yeah. Hope you guys somewhat enjoyed. <laughs> this is Ninja Boy signing out.